the RCA 5820 Image Orthicon Television Camera Tube. The 5820 has three sections, an image section, a scanning section, and a multiplier section. The image section contains a semi-transparent photocathode on the inside of the faceplate, a grid to provide an electrostatic accelerating field, and a target which consists of a thin glass disc with a fine mesh screen very closely spaced to it on the photocathode side. Focusing is accomplished by means of a magnetic field produced by an external coil and by varying the photocathode voltage. Light from the scene being televised is picked up by an optical lens system and focused on the photocathode which emits electrons from each illuminated area in proportion to the intensity of the light striking the area. The streams of electrons are focused on the target by the magnetic and accelerating fields. On striking the target, the electrons cause secondary electrons to be emitted by the glass. The secondaries thus emitted are collected by the adjacent mesh screen which is held at a definite potential of about 2 volts with respect to target voltage cutoff. Therefore, the potential of the glass disk is limited for all values of light and stable operation is achieved. Emission of the secondaries leaves on the photocathode side of the glass a pattern of positive charges which corresponds with the pattern of light from the scene being televised. Because of the thinness of the glass, the charges set up a similar potential pattern on the opposite or scan side of the glass. The opposite side of the glass is scanned by a low velocity electron beam produced by the electron gun in the scanning section. This gun contains a thermionic cathode, a control grid, grid number one, and an accelerating grid, grid number two. The beam is focused at the target by the magnetic field of an external focusing coil and the electrostatic field of grid number four. Grid number 5 serves to adjust the shape of the decelerating field between grid number 4 and the target in order to obtain uniform landing of the electrons over the entire target area. The electrons stop their forward motion at the surface of the glass and are turned back and focused into a 5-stage signal multiplier, except when they approach the positively charged portions of the pattern on the glass. When this condition occurs, they are deposited from the scanning beam in quantities sufficient to neutralize the potential pattern on the glass. Such deposition leaves the glass with a negative charge on the scan side and a positive charge on the photocathode side. These charges will neutralize each other by conductivity through the glass in less than the time of one frame. Alignment of the beam from the gun is accomplished by a transverse magnetic field produced by an external coil located at the gun end of the focusing coil. Deflection of the beam is accomplished by transverse magnetic fields produced by external deflecting coils. The electrons turned back at the target form the return beam which has been amplitude modulated by absorption of electrons at the target in accord with the charge pattern whose more positive areas correspond to the highlights of the televised scene. The return beam is directed to the first dynode of a five-stage electrostatically focused multiplier. This utilizes the phenomenon of secondary emission to amplify signals composed of electron beams. The electrons in the beam impinging on the first dynode surface produce many other electrons, the number depending on the energy of the impinging electrons. These secondary electrons are then directed to the second dynode and knock out more new electrons. The multiplying process is repeated in each successive stage with an ever-increasing stream of electrons until all those emitted from dynode number 5 are collected by the anode and constitute the current utilized in the output circuit. 
The multiplier section amplifies the modulated beam about 500 times. The multiplication so obtained maintains a high signal to noise ratio and also permits the use of an amplifier with fewer stages. The signal to noise ratio of the output signal from the 5820 is high. The gain of the multiplier is such as to raise the output signal sufficiently above the noise level of the video amplifier stages so they can contribute no noise to the final video signal. The signal to noise ratio of the video signal, therefore, is determined only by the random variations of the modulated electron beams. The RCA5820 is probably the most common image orthicon in the world. It is a 3 inch image orthicon. There are dozens of compatible tubes in this size. For the most part, 3 inch image orthicons could be interchanged. Results did vary. Image orthicons were also made in one and a quarter inch, two inch, and four and a half inch sizes. The two inch tube shown here is a variant of the image orthicon called an image isocon. Isocons process the return beam differently and produce an even quieter output signal. The smallest of the image orthicon family is the RCA. 2P22, which is only one and a quarter inches in diameter and eight inches long.